wish this wasn't you, Logan. Hello everyone, and welcome to the first ever Trailer Review Spotlight. This is Rob, and today's spotlight is all about the fighters. The good, the badass, and the just plain ugly. First up, we have Marvel vs. Capcom 3. This classic arcade style fighter brings back so many memories, ditching school to drop quarter after quarter on its original, it's probably why I had such bad grades. Using the same engine as Street Fighter 4, and bringing back classic characters like Ryu and Wolverine, makes this an adukin throwing adamantium slashing fight that is definitely at the top of its game. And you can bet it will be on the top of my wish list, which in my opinion, definitely makes this game, the good. So what is it that makes Capcom so great at making fighters? In my opinion, nostalgia. From its original arcade release in 87, to its fresh off the shelves titles, not much has changed, other than some obvious tweaks to the graphics, some new characters, and a few new moves. When Capcom finds a formula that works, they stick to it, cause as they say, if it's not broke, don't fix it. That was bad. Could be much worse. Much. He's been the amateur champ for nine years. Are you gonna let him make it ten? Go get him, kid! This in Fight Night Champion, brother. there's a story in my fighter, or maybe a fighter in my story. Regardless, this game looks amazing, and honestly, I can't wait to play it. As a fan of both boxing and Fight Night Round 1, 2, 3, and 4, I am more than excited to see a blockbuster release with a blockbuster story to back it up. Can you say Fighter of the Year? Cause this game is definitely the badass. This is called boxing. Let me do this. So let's hear it for the roster, with over 50 fighters including Manny Pacquiao, Mike Tyson, Muhammad Ali, and Sugar Ray Robinson, this addition to the franchise has the making of a repeat success. That's my brother. You owe me the chance to prove myself. Well EA, that just leaves me with one question. Is it still in the game? Or is it now in the story? Maybe both. Regardless, with a revamped physics engine and a new full-spectrum punch control system, this game is sure to be a knockout. And for all those Fight Night Round 4 fans, try not to worry, Legacy and Career Mode are expected to return. Doesn't even matter anymore. Now, we turn it up! And now, for the downright ugly. Why did I choose Supremacy MMA for this portion of the spotlight? Well, the trailer speaks for itself. This game is downright brutal. And though some extra violence may be the MMA gamer's dream, I as an MMA sports fan have some mixed feelings. On one hand, I have a game that I think I might enjoy. And on the other hand, I have a sport that I love. Well boys and girls, I choose both. Simply put, this is just a game, and these sorts of exaggerations are pretty much standard in the underground. Well, boys and girls, that looks like all we have for this spotlight. Till next time, this is the Rob Station telling you to live free and play hard. But don't break anything.